Okay, I'm gonna toss out a word that's a mystery to many of you, and that word is kombucha. I mean, you've probably heard of this drink that is evidently mostly calm with a pinch of bucha. But apparently it's not just some fermented hippie tea thingy. Now, besides its possible health benefits, kombucha can also do some home accessory good by turning this drink into wood. Here's Ali Ward to explain. Kombucha seems like a mere fizzy and fruity refreshment. But what if I told you it has a slimy secret that just might help save our forests? This isn't an alien jellyfish. It's called a scoby, and it's used to brew kombucha. Scobies were thought to primarily be waste products in the kombucha industry, until this young inventor developed Pyrus, a sustainable wood alternative produced from the very same bacteria that creates kombucha. I joined Gabe Tavis and his team in Champaign, Illinois, to learn more. How do you describe what you're doing to other people? I'm making wood from bacteria. Going into college, wanting to be a designer, I saw that the materials we use to build products are inherently not safe for people or the planet. Mm -hmm. So that led me to do my own research in a field called biodesign, where people are basically trying to build with nature. A lot of the work in that field is looking at these materials, like bacterial cellulose, which can be grown by SCOBY cultures from the kombucha industry. I knew that wood, of course, is a very versatile, common material in the design field, but it's not always you know, sustainably harvested. So if we could somehow use bacteria to make the wood instead, that might lead to something very promising. Going from a bacterial cellulose to wood to kombucha. Can you explain a little bit how those are all connected? It's actually very simple to grow that bacterial cellulose. You basically have this SCOBY culture, which is a mixture of yeast and bacteria. It's kind of like this circular little glob, and you can mix it in water that's a little acidic, so maybe mix vinegar, add some sugar, and over two weeks, it will essentially grow this kind of slimy layer on the top of the container of water. You can then take that slimy sheet, blend it up, and then bind it with a natural binder, and you'll have our wood. And then that wood can be cut on your usual woodworking tools. Well, I would love to see this. Can you walk me through how you make it? Yeah, absolutely. Let's get into it. Cool, so I'm ready to see this. Yes. To get a closer look, Gabe introduced me to Nathan and Lucy, two members of his growing SCOBY squad. This is the raw SCOBY, the bacterial cellulose. It's kind of this funky looking stuff submerged in water. It's really clumpy and it kind of grows in sheets. So what we have to do is we actually have to blend it up. Mm -hmm. And then once it's all chopped up and blended up, we can pour it into this bucket, which is mixed with water and our binding agent. And then we're able to pour it into this pie mold and let it set. Wow, so it kind of is almost like a beige, chunky smoothie full of SCOBY. The material is then placed into a dehydrator. Once the moisture is completely released, it can be sanded and cut like traditional wood. While the team is perfecting smaller items like guitar picks and jewelry, Gabe hopes that Pyrus can one day be used to make furniture. Do I get to drink the kombucha? from which my table is made is the question. <laughs> A service to be provided. Yeah. 